read. I just wanted to try it on my phone. Yesterday I drank a, a tea latte. It was called Blue Butterfly. Um, there's some kind of flower called Blue Butterfly something. And this tea latte was made with the, the powder from it. And it was blue. And it tasted good. Like, not my favorite. But it tasted pretty good. But then when I got to the bottom of the cup, because I had it in a to-go cup, um, it started, like, felt like little pieces of flowers. Like, little crushed up petal pieces. And I had to chew it. And it was like, yuck. And the texture of it. And I was like, wait a minute. So I, I opened the lid and I looked in and there were all these little blue pieces. I was like, oh man. So I threw it in the garbage. And then um, I sent a video message to my aunt and I was replaying. <laughs> and my teeth were blue. But I was in the CLSC, which is a clinic clinics that we have in Canada because I was getting blood tests and they make you wear a face diaper. So luckily um, the receptionist and the nurse didn't see that my teeth were blue. <laughs> anyway, I'm never drinking one of those again. Um, yeah, that's all. There's two people here. Oh, I haven't been live on my phone for a long time. So I'm going to figure out the chat, live chat. Okay, now I can see if anyone chats at me. My neck hurts. It's snowing. There's so much snow here. It's like, I thought there was only one day. Like one specific day was the first day of spring. But apparently you can choose one of three days and say any of those days are spring. Anyway, it's like later than those days now and... It's snowing. I have pink nail polish on. My neck hurts. I have to go to the drugstore for two different prescriptions, but it's not crucial. So I think maybe I won't go out because it's very yucky outdoors. I'm going to put a filter on. Which one is good? Ooh. Maybe they have some new ones. I ordered my external hard drive so that I can um, easily transfer all my things from my old laptop onto my new laptop. I, I kind of like this one. I... Um, I've never had an external hard drive. So I'm very excited. It's like a little thing, right? And it has one terabyte or two or something. I kind of like, which one do I like? It's gone now. I lost it. I lost the filter I like. Not that one. Not that one. This one's good. That one's called Noir. Remember that. Noir. I wear, um, I'm wearing lipstick. I, uh, Peggy Lee's playing on the TV. I like the way your hair is. Someday my hair will be that long and I can wear it like Peggy Lee. Um, let's see. I could try to read, but I would, it would require getting up and going in the other room to get my book. Oh, I'm reading The Invisible Intruder to myself. And I think I, I just, I'm on chapter five. And it's scary, but I'm going to record it for you anyway. But it's a really scary book. Oh, look. There's my bunny. Hi. Hi, bunny. And right beside him, he has a pile of carrots. I believe he has six carrots right now. 
I have to make enough to fill his little basket. There's three people here. My hair is not getting longer, but my roots are growing in. So it is getting longer, but I don't see it. Um, I want to stay blonde, but I don't want to go and get my roots done. So maybe I'll just do it myself. I'll learn how to do it properly, but it's tough. It's hard to do. Why can't it just be blonde for real? I got one thumbs up. Okay, thank you. I really should go get a book. Now, can I pause this and go get my book? Hi, Joe's world. Are you a regular here? I don't, I don't um, recognize your, your name. How's everything in Joe's world? My neck is really hurting, but I don't want to sit up. You know what I like? What am I streaming about? Oh, I thought it said screaming. I'm not screaming. I would upset people. Hello. So I don't, I don't I still don't know how to say your name. Um, well, normally I would read, but that I don't have a book at hand. So if I do read, I would have to get up, but I don't think I could because I have to hold the phone with one hand and I'm not able to hold the book and turn pages. Something banged on the window. I wonder if it's a squirrel. It's, it's so snowy here. I'm not, I was over it. I was ready for spring. And so were my squirrels and the birds have come back. Oh, you can't see, but it's pink. I put on some bright pink nail polish and then I got this special effects. Um, what do you call it? The special effects. Montreal, Tom, I thought you were a girl. I thought you were a girl. <laughs> okay, I'll call you Tom. I'm sorry, I thought you were a girl. I mean, I like being a girl. No, that doesn't show the right color. I'll just go no filter. No filter. Still doesn't look right. I think the filter's still on, even though I said turn it off. Um, I'm 46. Okay, I always thought you were a girl. <laughs> My apologies. Not that there's anything wrong with being a girl. I hate all these filters. They're all terrible. As far as, I, as, far as I'm concerned, I hate all these filters. I just couldn't put this one back on. Yeah, my arms are getting tired already. Um, so I wouldn't be able to read like this. No. And I kind of am having withdrawal symptoms. Nancy Drew recording withdrawal symptoms because I'm doing some other videos, but. Well. Okay, if it's boring, you can go. Bye. Have a nice day. I hope Joe's world is less boring. Um, <laughs> bye, Joe. Or are you saying that Joe's world is boring? Well, thanks. I think. Yeah, yeah, I take that as a compliment. When I first heard you, I thought you were 20-something. I used to be. <clears throat> yeah, so my arms are getting pretty tired, and I guess I have to go outside. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, B. Steele. Why do I think your name is Barbara? Who's Barbara Steele? I don't know. Thank you. Um... I'm really looking forward to starting the next one, The Invisible Intruder. Um, it's probably going to be another month or so until I order my new computer. 
Okay, someone's about to get kicked out forever. I just have to figure out how to, how to do it. Um, put user in a, no, I don't want him in a, use, in a timeout. I want him gone forever. You're in a timeout now, Joe. I wanted to remove you, um, block you completely, but apparently that doesn't work. I didn't delete the message. No, I, I don't delete people's messages, but if they're acting like asses, they go bye-bye. I want everyone to see a stupid message. Damn. Well, I'll tell you what Joe said. He said, remove all your clothes, you old ass. <laughs> and that, okay. Have a nice day, be stealing. <laughs> I don't want that deleted. I don't want his message deleted. I want people to be able to see what a stupid he, he is. Oh, well, some people just don't know any better. We should pray for them. <laughs> Everybody, please pray for Joe's world that he grows a brain. <laughs> Who's singing? Oh, Billie Holiday. I don't like her. I mean, I don't like her voice. She'll finish soon. Um, I don't think you can hear the music. If I put it up. Can you hear her? I love this song, but not by Billie Holiday. It's Sophisticated Lady. I enjoy it by Julie London. Julie London. I just love her. What a great voice. Very relaxing. And then I've seen some of, well, one of her movies many, many times. The Red House is a movie from 1947, I believe. And it's great. And she's in it. Julie London. Who's this? Oh, this is much better. Who's that? I'm a shy guy by, I can't read what his name is. What's your name? Stan Kenton. I love my old music. Um, yeah, so I guess um, even if I don't go outside, I should get up. I have books right up there but it involves moving and stuff i i wish there was an option that i could like black out the screen but you could still hear me talking while i maneuver myself up here and grab a book you are looking great thanks have a nice day for all the nice books i enjoyed all thank you uh the chat went away i can't see your name Thank you very much, Mina. More books coming soon, I hope. Well, yeah, definitely. Just have to wait a while for the next one. Yeah, so I'm on chapter five of The Invisible Intruder, and I am I don't like sea creatures. I find them I've always I'm even afraid of fish. Um, and I only will eat seafood if it doesn't look like seafood or smell like seafood, you know. Um, like it's all prepared in a way that it doesn't resemble fish or sea creatures. And there's lots of things that are making my skin crawl in this book. I almost punched myself. But it is a fun book, let me say. Bess and George are in it. And Ned and the Nedlings. And some nefarious villains and all that or villains who do nefarious things. Yeah, so there's my bunny. I'm going to work on some more carrots for him and then finish his basket, and then he'll be all done, and I can put him in a box with a card and maybe some chocolates and send him off to my mother. And then Perino the pocket mouse is over here in his boat with the hedgehog. I have a few books up there, like, 
Canadian Poetry Magazine and uh, some poems from Great Uncle Frank and my book of Psalms and A Child's Garden of Verses. My teeth are probably red. What else? Oh, yesterday when I was at the drugstore? Yeah. I got my favorite Easter treat, which is a Le Laura Secord Easter egg. It's in a yellow box. They have different sizes, and I bought the biggest one. And it's it's like a chocolate egg. It's flat on the bottom, so you can put it down. And it has like a very thin chocolate shell, and the inside is all this white cream, like fondant. I don't know if that's what it is. But it's very, um, like a thick cream. It doesn't run out. So it's thick and it's all white. And in the middle, there's yellow. Like it's like the yolk, the white of the egg, and then the yolk. I love those Laura Secord eggs. They're the best. And I ate like almost all of it in one sitting while I was watching a movie. Um, but I have a little bit left. I was like, okay, I'm starting to feel like I'm not enjoying this. So. I know I want another one, but I have to be careful with too much sugar intake and all that. I think I, oops, did I turn the chat off? I can't see it. I can't see the chat. Oh, wow. My phone is still charging up. I guess plugged in, but it's not losing charge. It's, it keeps charging. Usually, uh, doing the this live thing on the phone makes it go let's see what's the date today oh it's it's only noon i need food well i need to get food i've been using uh instacart quite a bit so that i can get more than a few things at the time because when i go to the grocery store i can't carry very much so I've been using Instacart to make grocery orders. Right now, I do I have fruit. I'm like out of fruit. I just ate my last banana. I'm out of grapes. I cannot stop eating grapes. But I don't get those through Instacart because I never, they don't say like from my grocery store, they don't say where they're from, what kind they are really. It just says green grapes. And I'm like, I don't know if they're any good. So I go to the store to get them mm -mm. and I share them with the squirrels and I like to have almonds on hand. Like I have enough food for today, but I don't really have anything fun to eat except for the rest of my uh, Easter egg. Who's this? Martha Ray or something. I wish that... <laughs> I had different style of glasses. But beggars can't be choosers. I couldn't get the ones I wanted because they were too expensive. Um, I'm really enjoying this color. I put on a like a not shiny bright pink. And then I put this. Oh, I can show you because it's right over there. I can show you my. Enjoy your chocolate. Now is the time of year where you find chocolate everywhere. Yes, in the land of chocolate. I am going to... This is my um, nail polish that I got yesterday. I didn't need any nail polish, but this color was just screeching at me. I put it over a bright pink, and it just made it really um, shimmery. Sometimes I buy nail polishes that look beautiful in here and then you put it on and you see right through it and it's like a top coat, but it doesn't say that it's a top coat. And I get very disappointed. I'm like, hey, does, it doesn't look like it does in the bottle. So I don't know what this would look like if I put this on a bare nail. Probably not nice. My nails do not look very nice bare because of... Well, actually, I was pretty lucky with my chemo. I didn't have, I didn't have any nail issues. My nails stayed strong, but 
like there's a lot of white on them. So they don't look great without something on them. So but I this is nice because I'm gonna I it'll look different depending on what color I put it over. It will transform any nail polish. Plus I just like having it there to look at. It's like it's a really pretty color. It's a really pretty color. So small, I can't see what it says. Oh, ash, it's called Astral Aura, and it's from Essie. And it says Nail Art Studio. I wish I had the patience to do nail art. I do all kinds of pretty little flowers and stuff. One time I ordered some nail stickers from Shein. Um, three sheets of, of hearts, black, red, and white but they, they're too hard to stick on. And they just kept like rubbing off and moving and stuff. They just didn't look good. I don't know. I don't like ordering stuff from there. I'm glad Joe's gone. A very gross person. Why would anyone want to use this one or this one? I don't know. Those should be removed and put better ones on. I like the one that is called, I'm trying not to choke. Oh, I don't like that one either. I'll go with this one. Oh, I had my brightness down. Wow. My brightness is all down. But my, my uh, lipstick looks like, but it's not, I swear. It's kind of fun to wear the red lipstick sometimes. Wow, that must be Jean Krupa. I can tell by the picture. Is it? Whoops. Yep, Jean Krupa. Ooh, Hot Dog is the name of the song. Hey, that song. That's Drum Boogie from, Ball of, from the movie Ball of Fire. I just heard some lady say, drum boogie. If you haven't seen this movie with Barbara Stanwyck called Ball of Fire, Gary Cooper's in it too. Watch it, because it's fun. And um, she does this song. Well, it's not her singing. It's Martha Tilton. That's drum boogie. Anyway, she has this really cool golden sparkly outfit on. And it's so pretty. Anyway, if you ever feel like watching Ball of Fire, I believe you can watch it free everywhere. Who are these guys? The Ink Spots? Oh, the Mills Brothers. Excuse me. Yesterday I discovered a song. That makes it sound like I discovered it. Anyway, it's these guys called the Jubilaires, and the song's called Noah. And, and they keep saying like, oh, it's the first rap song, but it doesn't sound like anything like rapping to me. Um, it reminded me of the Kingston Trio, or I guess the Kingston Trio reminded me of them. But it was a song called Noah. And then they have all these other songs that are like Bible themed. So I'm going to listen to some more of them. But I have that Noah song stuck in my head. So if you want to hear a fun song, put in the Jubilaires, Noah. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, let's see. A show I'm watching on TV is called Family. It was on from 1975 to 1980. And I am on season four and I love this show and I'm going to be very sad when it's over. It's a family drama and it's just really, really good. And well, I was born in 1978, so I only spent a little over two years in the 70s, but I'm very nostalgic for the 70s. And this is just such a nice 70s show. You really um, get to know the characters and has good stories that really um, keep you interested. And I have some characters that I like more than others. Like, so there's a man and a woman, a husband and a wife, a mother, a father, and they have how many kids? One, two, 
they have three children. They have Nancy, who's the oldest. She's the most annoying to me. And then they have Willie, he's the second oldest. And then they have Buddy, and she's the youngest. And I really enjoy the shows that center on Buddy the most. Nancy is just really annoying. And Willie, well, I enjoy them in small doses, but when they're the main focus of an episode, it's like, oh, no. Ugh. Now, on season four, they have adopted a, well, not adopted, this little girl whose parents died. And it was like 11 years ago or something that the main characters, uh, Doug and Kate, they're the mom and dad. They agreed if anything happened to this kid's parents that they would they would take care of her. She would come and live with them. And now it's like 11 years later and both of the parents have died and they have to take her in. And they're like, whoa, man. You know, they're just, the oldest daughter's 27 and the youngest buddy's just about to turn 16. And now all of a sudden they have an 11 year old to take care of. And they're like, oh my God. But they end up adopting her and I really enjoy her character. She's funny. So I think that's a nice addition to the show. So if you want to watch a fun show from the 70s, a one hour long family drama, five seasons worth, look up Family. It was on ABC. And tell them Large Marge sent you. No. Um, I hope you will enjoy it. No, it's not a documentary. Maybe you're thinking of, I think there was a documentary called an American family or something on PBS, which they kind of, I read about a couple of years ago. I, I never saw it, but they were saying it was like, oh, the first reality TV show. Um, but that's not what it is. This is all fictional. I don't like reality TV, although I really did enjoy watching The Simple Life <laughs> with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. <laughs> That very much amused me. And I had the DVD of the first season. <laughs> but in general, I hate reality TV. Like I remember when A&E, the channel A&E, they played things like documentaries and movies and old TV shows like Quincy and Columbo. And I really loved that channel. Now it's nothing but reality TV. Also, I remember when TLC was called The Learning Channel and they played a lot of educational shows. I don't know what's happened to television. I don't enjoy it. So I'm glad when I discover shows that I haven't seen from, from way back. Was that Joe Stafford? No, Rosemary Clooney. I don't know. Yeah, I love the Nancy Drew books too. <laughs> I can't wait to um, get started on the next one. Once I get my new computer. Oh, it's going to be great. But I have to uh, save up a little bit more. Oh, it's Louis Armstrong. I have to save up a little bit more. Um, I just ordered my external hard drive so that I you can easily switch everything over. I've never had an external hard drive. <laughs> so I'll be happy when that comes. You know, so I can make I, I I hate Windows. And they keep giving me these emails saying I'm my one drive. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm getting a migraine. They're like, your one drive desktop is about to be deleted because you've gone over I remember when when you bought a computer with Windows, you wouldn't have to pay for more things, you know? I remember playing the games. And now the game, you go into the games that come with Windows and they're like, well, you have the basic version of this game. If you want the full game, you have to pay for it. And I'm like, you charge people, like you buy Windows. You shouldn't have to buy more stuff when you buy Windows. 
it's just terrible. It's all full of ads and stupid things. Uh, they make everything more complicated than it needs to be. Let's say I have an image on my desktop, an image file, you know, and you right click on it and you have options. Now there's a little arrow showing more options. If you want to rename something, there's more clicking because there's more stupid things. It's like, I just want to rename this. Why do I have to click on more options? There's just, there's, it's too chaotic for me. There's too much. Give me Windows 95. Well, give me Windows XP back and I'll be fine. Anyway, that's enough ranting about technology for now. I really got to get up. I did pretty well for holding this in my hand above me for 30 minutes. And I really, I'm going to do some more poetry and things. And uh, Perino the Pocket Mouse has to select another Welsh fairy tale to read for you. And he wants to get back to that game he's playing, Midnight Mysteries, Salem Witch Trials. We're, we're not too happy about the way that game behaves. No, I mean, it works well, but the navigation and... Yeah, we complain a lot when we play that game. But we want to finish it because there are things we like about it. Anyway, I believe it is 12.14. And I have to get some lunch. So I will see you later. I just wanted to check in with everyone. And I'll be back an, sometime today with another kind of video of some sort, okay? Yeah, it's definitely lipstick on my teeth. It really doesn't come off. They're right. All right. Well, see you all later. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.